And yeah, sure. Like I said, everything's region free, so I can still play it. But like, I'm not gonna understand any of it. I don't know a lick of Japanese. And although games that haven't been localized before haven't been a problem on my channel, uh, I don't know if this LP is out. But I did play through and stream uh, Bullet Girls Fantasia. And uh, that game did not get a North American release. But uh, it still had uh, English subtitles. So that was great. It, like, I mean, a lot of games that get localized here don't get an English dub. Like, none of the Center and Kagger games, this game, the only Shambara games, well, Z2 Chaos did get an English uh, dub. So that was cool, I guess. <clears throat> I actually, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I met the uh, voice actress that did uh, Kagura. I had her sign my, uh, like, the sleeve of the game. So that's pretty cool. She was a very nice lady. <clears throat> she, uh, she, she thought it was hilarious. Because uh, she actually brought up the, the banana split thing. She and I, I was like, I wasn't gonna bring it up because I thought it'd be awkward. Because it's like, yeah, you know, they're they're heavily sexualized games, and I don't want to be that creepy fan, so I didn't bring it up. But she brought it up because she, she thought it was hilarious, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're on my level. Because I don't want to be a creepy dude, but yeah, I like the novelty of it. I think it's hilarious, and yeah, she really liked that. Oh, one, two, three, and the jab. Nope. One, two, three, and the jab. Nope. Well, now I'm just crazy. I think I can kill Mudmen like this, though. I think it might have even died in the explosion of that happening. But, uh, whatever the case, yeah, I just... some Sometimes, they just want... Oh, yeah, they fall apart from these. Apparently, they can, <laughs> apparently you can still block just fine. But, like, just... I don't know, maybe it's a little selfish of me, but, like... Japanese developers, just put English subtitles. Just just do it, please. Because with, you know, with everything being region-free and the internet existing, and I can just order stuff online, like Bullet, Girl, Bullet Girls Fantasia. I think that's backwards. I, I got that on Play Asia, and uh, it wasn't too expensive, and it... It took a while to ship, but, you know, it was coming from Japan. And I played through and enjoyed that game without any trouble. Just putting the subtitles, that's all. Like, we we have, we have uh, like, when Western-made games come out, and uh, it's they just have language options. You know, they got options for Russia, they got French, you can even switch it to Japanese, you can switch it to Chinese, whatever you want. There's so many cool language options. Oops. So it's like, you know what? Just just do that all the time. Just every game have it. Because like before, you know, I would encounter games with language options and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. I don't need these. I speak English, so it's fine. But now it's like, no, now there's games made in Japan that don't have these language options. And I'm not okay with that, because I want to play those games. And now I get it. You know, if maybe there are people in Russia that want to play these Western-made games, and I'm glad that you are able to. I'm happy for you. I'm really glad that there's all these... Oh, it's been a while. I'm I'm really glad that these options exist. There's, there's even cool things like there's colorblind modes, making games accessible to colorblind people that's great that's wonderful i don't need this feature but i'm really happy it exists because i just want the things i enjoy to be enjoyed by everyone else and who doesn't who who would ever like console exclusives for example i i want 360 owners to enjoy uncharted i'm sorry you can't and that sucks, but like when it comes to a language barrier, no, nah, just just please put English. <laughs> I just wanna I wanna play my Japanese games. Okay, yes, this is the right way. 
if there's just English subtitles, if you can just change the, the text. I don't want dubs. It's fine. We don't need a dub. Just text. That's all I want. And I don't think I'm asking for a whole lot. Since one's told me all she knew about the baneful blood, that we are members of a race born from the earth itself through powerful magic a long time ago. As she talked, it was obvious that she did not believe in the magic that she was telling me about. But since encountering the undead, I have come to believe in the idea of having been born from the earth. Misery and Himiko also had the baneful blood as we do, and although we had no choice but to, to kill them, it makes me wonder how much more baneful blood there is out in the world. Reiko continues her scientific research. I'll get the answers from her one day. She's bound to appear again, back to her same old self. Maybe. Is that what this is all leading up to? Chapter 6, The Ancient Seal. Oh, there's one of these guys right here. So let's get him out of the way. Nope, let's get him out of the way. Stop that. There it is. <laughs> I feel like it gets more finicky as we go. There we go. Okay. So I can I can also choose. It seems like I can choose to do the combo very slow by just inputting it a little late. But yeah, I would. Uh, I mean, the the game I was talking about, the Kaiju Battles. That's a uh, you know that's still this gen. It was a couple of years ago, but I don't think it's impossible for us to get it. I mean, look at the Yakuza games. They're so full of text, riddled with text. They're still coming out like every year now. People love those games. Just, uh, just really bums me out that language options aren't a thing that are on the games I want to play. But oh well, what are you gonna do? I guess learn Japanese, but I don't really want to do that. I do want to visit Japan sometime. But uh, I don't really want to learn a language. Learning language is hard, especially later in life. Especially when you're learning disabled like me. It's just tough. I actually, I was, I was using Duolingo a while ago to learn some German. And like, you know, I was, I was doing it every day. You know, I had my streaks. I, uh, I didn't get very far, even though I did do it every day for a while, because I was redoing lessons constantly. Because I was like, I didn't just do one lesson one night, do the next lesson the next night. It was it was like after I cleared like a certain, I, I guess they were broken into sections of like difficulty. After I would clear a section, I would just do it over and over again. Like not one after the other, but like, I guess like I would do the first lesson one night, then I'd do that first lesson again the second night, maybe the third night, then move on to the next one. And then once once I've done that with all of them, I would have one night where I just did all of them in a row. You know, just really oh, I gotta do this. Just just to really bake it in, really solid it solidify it in my mind. Cause like I said, I'm a bit dumb when it comes to learning things. And uh yeah, I was I feel like I was getting there, I was doing some things. But uh you know, it's been a long time since I did that, and I'm pretty Pretty sure all that knowledge is gone. Pretty sure it's just all it was just a waste of time at this point because I didn't I didn't keep to it because it's like working out. You, it's something you gotta continue to do all the time. You can't just work out once and then be like, yeah, I have the muscle now. I'm done working out. It's like nah, that's you gotta keep it up or it's gonna go away. And it's the same thing with learning something like that. Oh look, it's our girl Aya. Oh, sis! Saki, run! Don't, don't come! Don't come any closer! Sis, what's wrong? Tell me! Are you hurt? What happened? My baneful blood. I'm sorry, Saki. I can't control it. This is more or less just what happened in Aya's story. Like literally nothing and then we occasionally fight a boss. Oh yeah, I gotta do dodges and shit now. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, you did a cool flip too. Well, nope, flip out of your combo. Oh, I was behind her for so long that would have been a good chance to do a throw. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to punchies. And when I find that opportunity again, I'm gonna try to take it. If I find that opportunity. Oh dang it, I started pressing the sword button for no fucking reason. Oh look, I did a cool thing. Oh dang it. She was she was changing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing again. Yeah, and then and then what no I'm doing it. I was doing it properly, I swear, I was doing the thing. I really want to do it. Yeah, and then I pick a direction, but nothing's happening. Well, whatever, I'm just going to beat you with punches. I like how when I was locked onto her, my unconscious body on the ground was was spinning to face her. I don't know how visible it was, but please notice it. It's hilarious. That was close. If an overload of baneful blood hadn't taken her out, I may have ended up killing my sister. I is normally so calm, so collected. Just how much undead blood was she covered with? What? What's this pressure in my head? It's ringing out, my baneful blood raging. Himiko? No, it's even worse than her. This must be what drove Sis insane. Uh, I'm burning up. It's like all the baneful blood in my body is boiling. If I get covered in too much blood, I think I'll lose control too. Who, who is causing this terrible feeling? Who indeed? We never did find out in Aya's story. So, uh, and like I said, I do know that there is a sister switch button. So I'm, I'm most certain that plot and story will occur eventually. I'm just, I don't know for sure. I haven't seen this gameplay, I don't know anything about it. It's all new to me. But I have a feeling that what's gonna happen is uh, once we've done their storyline separately, there's there's gonna be like a new one where I can pick. Oh no! That, how would that work in the menus? Because when you go to story mode, you p you then pick a character, and then you do their story. So I really feel like there isn't going to be like Aya and Saki as a selectable option. I don't know, my, my original theory was after we do their two separate storylines there's gonna be like a like a new storyline that's just both of them and then plot actually happens. But uh, when I had finished the uh, Aya story we unlocked a playable character and at first I thought that was just in like free play mode or whatever but uh, it turns out that uh, it is a story mode because when I was looking at the uh, story mode options, I can switch to that newly unlocked character. So I don't know if, if plot's going to open up via another character. Or maybe there isn't a time in the story or in the story mode where you play as both. Or pick two characters at a time. It's, uh, it's really getting harder to say and guess as we go. A lot of repeat areas <laughs> in this uh, in the design of uh, this game that I remember seeing in the 361. And uh, you know what? We're probably in the PS2 games. Who knows? Because I, I remember when I was looking up information on uh, Zed Kagura, the Japanese PS3 one. I remember uh, people like myself were assuming that the one on PS4 was just a remake or a port. And like I was explaining earlier, the fact that it that it didn't get a port at all and this second one did, would you know, you're right to assume that, sure. They just didn't bother doing it on the PS3, they just did the PS4 version. Which I later discovered was not the truth, and that that was a separate title. But uh, what further cemented this for some people was 
they would uh, they would look up gameplay footage of the game, the PS3 one that is, and they would see that the first level, or first levels, of the PS3 one were the same as the first levels in the PS4 one. So, and I mean that's that's a fair assumption. That's you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call anyone stupid for assuming that, especially cementing it. But uh, it's like no, it's just they're a low budget team. Can't you tell by the previous games? They reuse assets all the time. So, uh, yeah, the first couple levels are just reused. For, you know, just for for the glory of Satan, I guess. So, yeah. You know what? No one, no one is to blame for assuming these things. It's fine. But uh, I will finally write this for myself by just... I, it's already come in the mail. And I'll, I'll talk more about that as I played it, but I, it came with a nice note and a, a special little gift with it. Hopefully I remember to talk about it when I do the LP, because it, it is a very nice note and a very nice little extra gift. It's, uh, you know, so, sometimes it's just nice to do nice things for people that are ordering shit from you. So it was actually, uh... Because I went to leave a positive review on eBay, I was like, you know what, I the game is in perfect condition. I'd go so far as to saying it's mint, but not sealed, despite it saying it was used. And I uh, was like, no, the game's in great condition. I got a nice little note with it, very happy it arrived way faster than expected. But uh, yeah, so I was like, I'm just, I'm gonna check out some of their other stuff because I had such a good experience shopping with this store. And that's when I discovered the Shrouded and Shadow game, because I was just kind of browsing shit, because it's, obviously it's all just Japanese games. And I was like, what is this? I was just like tabbing random stuff, seeing what's, what has English subtitles, what doesn't. And I was like, this, this game has a cool title, or a cool title, cool cover, and sounds familiar. And I had remembered hearing about the uh, city Shrouded and Shadow or whatever from a while ago. And I guess I stopped hearing about it because it, you know, sometimes you hear about a game coming out in Japan and it's like, cool, this looks great. And then the news about it suddenly stops because it's like, yeah, it's out and it's not going to get localized. So forget about it. And then I guess I just did. And that was very sad. So I, I just, it just got me thinking about, I, I guess the store just specializes in games. I cannot play. As I had fully expected that going into the next Sony Chambara. I know it doesn't have English subtitles, but I just I wanna have the collection, I wanna have the whole story. I wanna play all of them. But at least I got most of the series in English. So that's cool, but as for City Shrouded in Shadow, that's I guess that's just not gonna happen. Oh well. I sure would have liked it though. It's like Evangelion ang uh, angels in it. I saw a, a cool like I just watched a trailer. I didn't watch any like long extended gameplay. Maybe I should. I should probably look up uh, a channel that with Japanese speakers that are also English speakers and can translate it as as it goes, perhaps. But uh, it just man it looks cool. Apparently it's mostly cinematic and there's not as much gameplay as one would expect, but that's fine. Oh, we got a big old Hugo, or a Gigant as, as it was called. I wonder if I can throw those guys. It didn't say I couldn't. Well, actually, when I was playing as Aya, it, uh, it, it tells you the strategies for all the different enemies, so maybe it did tell me I couldn't, because while I was playing as Aya and getting these strategies, it kept saying... It kept talking about this cool grab that Saki could do. And I want to kill this guy next. Don't block it, big dummy. I'm very bloodied. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get out of this one without going uh, into the baneful mode. Oh wait, I want to... Uh, Nope. Guess not. Uh, not not surprised really. I mean, he's huge, but it's whatever. 
it was actually uh, a kind of kind of a similar similar theme as a uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth when that came out. There weren't any plans to uh, to localize it, but it was actually because like Digimon had been, as far as the games went, dead and gone for a while at that point. So it was kind of like yeah, we, there was a couple Japanese ones that didn't come out on like the DS and stuff. And that was a bit of a bummer. But uh, but then but then that one. There's a petition, and they actually listened, and then it came out, and that's great. I'm really happy for that. I saw some petitions for uh, the city one, but I don't think they care as much. Speaking of Japanese games that won't get an English port, the Simpho Gear mobile game I'm playing is sending me notifications on my phone <laughs> that I don't understand. So I guess I'll have to boot that up soon and play it. They're close. Just ahead, awaits oh, someone with baneful blood. I sense a terrible, almighty power ahead. If only I can defeat them, then everything will end. But why? Why do I instantly think of defeating them? No, could it be the baneful blood? Is this the primal instinct of the baneful blood? Ugh, my blood is resonating. My sister has definitely never experienced this. Something is rising up from inside me. A terrible black something. I can't breathe. If my baneful blood reacts to anything stronger than this, I'll lose myself. No, I'm losing control of my body. Sis, I'm sorry, I can't control myself. My baneful blood screams out to kill. I got the burps from my fizzy drink and vodka. Misery? Saki baby, it's been too long. Oh, it looks like you're in pain. Has my raw energy become that overpowering? Do you feel like... Oh, shut up! I used the blood of that hag to come back to life. So now I'm calling in on all my old friends. What? Why? Why do you think? Revenge. Revenge served up cold. I'll kill everyone else and prove that I have the ultimate baneful blood. Although, you took Aya out from me already, didn't you? The ultimate baneful blood? Oh, Saki, my poor sweet baby. You don't even understand the meaning of the baneful blood? You sweet little fool. I don't care at all about all that. I just want to kill you. That's all. Oh, yeah, let's kill her. So I actually, I had the brief opportunity to play the uh, the new Kill the Kill game, not the game per se, but the demo. Oh, that was fast. And uh, well, I guess I can also finish this story very quickly. It was just okay. What did that? You didn't subtitle that. I figured this would happen because that did go a little too quickly. Oh, we got licensed music! That might not be a good thing. Let's try to finish this quickly. The These one-on-one -on -one battles, when they get really fast and flashy, do look pretty cool. Let's see if I can pull off a special move. Oh, I did it, but she was already defeated, I think. Stop with the licensed music, I'm gonna get in trouble! Uh. I should have expected no less from the highest level of baneful blood. I guess having absorbed the blood rather than being born with it just wasn't enough. Now tell... What is the baneful blood? You fool. May you suffer in your ignorance forever. Suffer for the rest of your life under the baneful blood without even knowing why. Even if you did learn the truth, you sisters couldn't do anything with it. What do you mean? Hey, you can't die without telling me. <sighs> You're a noisy little pest. I'll tell you this much. The undead are nothing but substitutes. Substitutes for what? That which the baneful blood originally hunted. 
And in that battle, the Baneful Blood will win. That which the Baneful Blood originally hunted, the Baneful Blood will win? You die and leave me with that? Thanks for nothing. Even if we have no reason to live, my sister and I live on anyway. No one knows the future, so all we can do is live life to the fullest and create a future for ourselves. And once again, we reach the end, learning pretty much nothing. So what did what did I win? What did I unlock for doing that? All right, now I can play as, uh, as Misery. So I guess uh, I unlocked the story modes of uh, Reika and Misery. Why don't we take? Let's just take a look at them real quick. All right, it's this button. So yeah, I can play as. Re oh my God! Like, look at let, look at the names. Aya. Yeah, it takes a second to see. It says Aya, but it says Aya. Saki uh, takes a bit longer. If you didn't know it said Saki, you'd never see it. Uh, this that says Reiko. Uh, barely. Yeah, actually no, no, it doesn't say that. It's it says Royko at best. Oh no, I guess I kind of see the E there. But then there's like. It's just awful. It looks terrible. This looks like Mizori, but I'm seeing the little, the little, the little dink in the in the O. Misery seems to be the most comp like comprehensive one. But uh, yeah, these are the characters we can play as now. So uh, you know, Aya and Saki's done. I guess next up is Reiko.